Uh, my name is Katie Durkin. I am with the Washington Federation of State Employees, um, and I'm here today to speak in favor of House Bill uh, 1533. This bill would provide our state employees with critical protections for their vulnerable data um, when they have been victims of domestic violence, stalking, harassment, or abuse. Um, I'm here today in particular to share a story from one of our members at the Department of Children, Youth, and Families, who prefers that their name remains anonymous due to the circumstances. Um, after they had completed their work with a family, a father who was unhappy with the resolution of his child dependency case, um, he was able to utilize publicly available information on this state employee um, from these required disclosures to begin threatening and harassing them. Threats then escalated from just using work emails and phones to the contact of this employee's brother and son. Um, this employee did everything right. They reported these threats to the police. They went to their supervisor and they even requested assistance from the assistant AG's office to see what further protections they may have as a state employee. Um, however, after filing a no contact order, there was very little that they were able to do. Um, and this also culminated with this individual um, threatening to shoot up the office that this employee worked at. Um, with the timeline on the no contact order expiring, this employee is frightened for what may happen um, if this volatile person continues threatening and harassing them. Um, they have been forced to relocate offices and spend significant time in court already dealing with multiple no contact orders. Uh, 1533 would not only help this employee understand and access how they are legally protected in the workplace when it comes to their information as a victim of the stalking and harassment, um, but it will also help to prevent reinforcing this trauma um, and the unnecessary time in court. Victims who have gone through this experience, being forced to relive it in court just to protect themselves and their information, deserve an option that won't take hours or days of their time which then also is going to remove our state employees from the work site, um, which they don't want to have to do either. Um, please protect our most vulnerable state employees, including our own from the Department of Children, Youth and Families who has been going through this horrible experience and past 1533. Thank you for your time.